This video looks at the typical voice call types on a P25 network. A group call is a call from one person to a group of people and is typically the primary method of voice communication on a P25 trunk system. The call starts when the PTT is pressed. A traffic channel is allocated for the call and the first transmission is made. When the PTT is released, the channel may be released or it may be reserved for a few seconds for a reply from the same group. Radios are programmed to use particular talk groups and a group is selected just like selecting a conventional channel. Some systems support dynamic regrouping where a system administrator can remotely place people into groups as operational needs arise. An announcement group is a predefined amalgamation of different talk groups into a single large group call. This allows important messages to get out to multiple teams in one transmission rather than having to be repeated multiple times. The ability to use announcement groups is controlled by the system administrator. There is also a system call. The system call is a call that reaches the broadest audience possible. When a system call is made, it will be received by all subscriber units and consoles registered on the system. A use for this call might be an evacuation message for a worksite in an emergency. P25 also supports an emergency call. An emergency call provides users with the ability to inform dispatch personnel of a life-threatening situation. By pressing the subscriber unit's emergency alarm button, an alarm is sent to the dispatcher via the control channel. The dispatcher is immediately notified of the emergency status by an audible alert and visual display at the console. The unit making the emergency call will be assigned the highest priority level of voice channel access to the network. A subscriber unit may be programmed so that pressing the PTT is still required to transmit voice calls in emergency mode, or the subscriber unit may be programmed to automatically cycle between receive and transmit, leaving the caller's hands free to deal with the emergency situation. When the emergency voice call is transmitted, the receiving radios can also issue an audible alert beep, so everyone listening knows that this is an emergency call. A unit-to-unit -unit call allows a person to individually call another person or console and communicate privately. The unit ID of the person you're calling must be entered into your radio before pressing the PTT to initiate this type of call. Typically, the receiving radio will show the calling party's ID on the display and issue a ringing alert tone so that they can then choose to take the call or not. Unit-to-unit -unit calls are typically a longer duration than a single over to a talk group and therefore occupy radio channels for a longer period of time. The ability to make unit-to-unit -unit calls is under the control of the system administrator and they may choose to limit who has the access to this feature. In addition to unit-to-unit -unit calls, a P25 network can allow dialing a phone call from a radio unit. This can be valuable when working in areas where cell phone coverage is not available or hazardous locations prevent the use of cellular phones. That was a quick overview of some of the different voice call types on a P25 radio system. One of the advantages of P25 is voice calls can be encrypted with AES or DES encryption. This means they cannot be intercepted by a third party who does not have the encryption key.